Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial. Um, this is a little bit different tutorial uh, where uh, I will gonna explain to you how you can create this uh, array of spheres as you can see on the, on the screen. Uh, but uh, for this case we are going to use Python. As you probably know Python is the, the, the base language of, of Blender. Um, and is very used to create some scripts that is uh, what I will gonna show you in this tutorial um, those scripts are created uh, with the purpose to automate things uh, we are going to create uh, this array completely uh, in an automatic way but uh, they can be used to uh, create some add-ons you probably should know what is an add-on and um, they have uh, extra functionality to, to Blender in this particular case. Uh, to start our tutorial let's create a new scene. Um, as you can see I have already do it. This is our default scene. Um, and to uh, write, uh, to start writing those scripts in Blender we need to go to the last tab on your screen where it says scripting and as you probably noticed it has uh, opened or it has uh, shown to us four uh, windows um, the first one is the, the viewport you probably don't have any doubt uh, what it is um, it is here because uh, so that uh, can be possible to us uh, that we can see what we are going to, to do in, in code. This is the Python console. Mm, it, is used to, it is used to the, um, display some help uh, to show you some comments if you need it. This little window on the bottom over here is uh, where we're gonna be logged all the all the things that you do that you execute in blender this is gonna be very useful as you as I will gonna show you and this one over here is the window where you gonna read, write your code um, the first thing that you need to do is click here on the new button to create uh, the new uh, file so that we can write our code and then make sure that you have these two buttons selected the first is the line numbers so that it can show you the line numbers as its own name says and the second one is to highlight uh, your code uh, this uh, will be useful because it is easier to see what we are going to do first thing uh, that you need to do when you are creating uh, a script is uh, import blender python model so you need to write import bpi if you don't do that your script will not going to work um, as i told you before uh, this little window over here uh, is gonna register, is gonna log everything that you do in Blender. I have clicked on those two buttons over there to change settings, to display the line numbers in this case, and as you can see, it has uh, registered here so that you can see the code. So, let me show you something very simple. If I click on A to select all the objects, I have over here the code so I click on A and then click on X on the or delete key to delete it and it have created the line with the code to do that so let's create a script that can select all the objects on our scene and then remove it you just need to click here on this window with the shift key press ctrl C and then Control V. Now I am going to add some objects to the scene and then we are running this script 
that basically selects all the objects and then remove them. Let's create some objects. Let's add uh, a plane. Let's add a circle. Let's add a cone. Okay, that's good. Now, if you run this script, it will select all the objects and remove it. Okay, let's try it. Run script. And as you can see, our scene is clear. If we want to add an object, is the process is the same. We just need to click on Shift A. Let's add, in this case, because we are going to use it during this tutorial, the sphere. And Blender have show us how we can do that using Python. So select the line, Control C and Control V. Now, what this is? If I run this script. Um, this will gonna select all the objects, we're gonna remove them and then it will create a sphere on the coordinate 0, 0, 0, 0 on the x, 0 on the y and 0 on the z. So let's have some objects again so that you can see the script running. Uh, monkey. Oh monkey okay and now let's run the script it will remove all the objects and then it will add our sphere okay so and as you can see it have removed all the objects and add a sphere to our scene now imagine that you want to add a sphere and you want to give it some smooth okay i have applied the smooth it gave me the code, I just need to copy and paste on our script. Let's run it. And now it has created the sphere with the smooth effect applied on it. This is the basics, the most simple. <laughs> All that we have done was copy and paste the code that uh, Blender is giving to us. But now let's automate uh, some things. Let's first create three spheres on the X axis uh, automatically, okay? To do that, the first thing that you need to do is to create a variable that uh, will define uh, the number of spheres, okay? So let's object number equals to three. Let's create three, okay? And let's define it. Let's create another variable that will define the position of those objects on the x axis. So position, position x equals to zero, okay? The, as I told you before, these two lines are just to select. All the objects and remove it so we can bypass it and these two lines are the ones that are going to create our sphere and apply the smooth so those two lines are the ones that we are going to repeat so to do that you just need to create a loop let's use the for or for x that is another variable in range of zero so if x was in the range of zero to objects number okay objects number it will repeat what is inside of it make sure that you have given those space a tab because it will not run so we have defined the number of objects that you want and the position for the first object then we are going to select all the objects if we have already one on our scene and then we are going to delete it okay and now we are going to start a loop that is going to create 
the circle or the sphere with uh, the smooth on it okay but uh, before we run this we need to tell blender uh, for example um, if we run this script right now it will create uh, the three uh, spheres but in the same place so over here where this zero where you can see this zero is the, po the position of the sphere in the x-axis so we are going to write position x okay and then we are going to position x plus equals to 2 okay I have done this um, because uh, I, as you can see here position is equals to zero so the first time that this script will run it will place a sphere on zero but then it will increment uh, two units and next time that uh, the loop is uh, run it will position on two okay so let's test it I'm sorry that is going to be let me see what is uh, the problem I know there are two points missing here I am not a big uh, expert in Python uh, so um, I have started a few days ago so these syntax errors are the usual so let's run it okay and now voila it have created the three spheres next to each other on the x-axis um, they have been created uh, closest to, to each other and I don't want that and that happens because I have incremented uh, only two it have created the first one on zero and then it have run the loop and have created the second one on position Two, and the third one on position 4 okay and that happens because the, the, the sphere if you create a default a default sphere okay uh, the radius is 1 which means uh, that uh, the diameter is 2 and then uh, they will gonna be created next to each other so let's define the value to 3 Okay, and run script and now as you can see it have one unit um, between them um, the next step is to um, create uh, the three spheres again on the y-axis and to do that let me just pass this value to here okay and now let's create the position of y that will gonna be equals to zero and then for y in range from zero to objects number okay it will create the spheres but now we need to add the variable that we have created with position and position position y equals to Okay, let's run the script and as you can see it have created the spheres on the X and then the spheres on the Y axis if I change this value over here it will create 4 okay and now let's do the same to create on the Z axis so let's 
this value to here and then for the range from zero to objects number okay the position of z equals to zero and then let's this value needs to be here and then position of z equals to three and then just add our variable here position z and now if we run the script it will create for an array of four uh, spheres uh, in the three different axes. Uh, another thing that we we can do just to make uh, things a little bit uh, difficult that's not difficult but a little bit more difficult is to um, define uh, the number of objects that we want on the x on the y and on the z let's do that so let's define this value is for x let's create another variable for y and let's create another one for z okay <clears throat> in this case we are going to use the variable x in i axis we are going to use the variable y and in this case we are going to use the variable z so <clears throat> if i run this script uh, as it is uh, you will not notice any changes because i have four in the three axis so let's run it okay i'm sorry let's looks like we have an issue here oh i see it's c okay <clears throat> but now let's change those values so let's for example five on the x two or three maybe two and four on the z let's run the script okay and five on the x two on the y and four on the z axis um i hope you can do lots of things like uh, <laughs> uh, any other things that uh, you want to automate you just need to make uh, blender do that you just need to make it manual and then copy the code and place it on the on the text editor and it will run without um, any problem um, i hope that you have um, liked it i hope that you have uh, understand how python works so how is the basics of python inside blender um, please subscribe my channel uh, and uh, i hope to see you soon